When you are ready to place a schedule on a sheet, you will likely want to adjust the appearance of the schedule. This includes things like the text font, the text size, grid lines, and so on. Let's take a look at how this works. With the Schedule view active, scroll down in the Properties palette and click Edit next to Appearance. This opens the Appearance tab of the Schedule Properties dialog. There are two areas here, Graphics and Text. In the Graphics area, you can control how the grid lines appear. To begin, you can control whether grid lines are even visible, and then you can select the checkbox next to Outline to add an outline around the schedule. And then when either option is selected, you can control the line style that is used. For example, I'll leave grid lines set to thin lines, and then I'll change the outline to a thicker black line. Additionally, you can add grids in headers, footers, and spacers by selecting that option. And then you can choose whether or not there is a blank row before data. And we'll go ahead and deselect that. And then I'll just click OK for right now. And in the schedule view, you really can't tell much of a difference with a lot of the appearance options. But if I switch to a sheet that has the schedule and I zoom in, you can see how some of these options now affect the schedule. So let's go back to the schedule view and click edit next to appearance. And then let's turn off grid in headers, footers, spacers. And then I'll change the outline to something that's not quite as thick. And then I'll select blank row before data and click OK. And now we can see how some of those options affect the schedule. All right, let's go back to the schedule again, and I'll click Edit next to Appearance. And also be aware that you can choose to stripe the rows of the schedule. And when Stripe Rows is selected, then the, well, let's just take a look. I'll click OK, and then we'll go here. And you can see there's a light shading now uh, with every other row. And when I go back, let's go back to the, on that appearance tab, and you can choose for either the first row to begin the stripe or to begin with the second row. And then you can even set the, the shading color. So if we make that a little bit darker and click OK, and then I'll click OK again. And we can actually see it here in the schedule view as well as on the sheet. All right. So as you can see here, there's a lot of options to control how schedules appear. And I'm going to remove the outline and I'm not going to stripe the rows. And then let's take a look at some of the options here in the text area. You can choose to show the title or show the headers. And I'll go ahead and leave those selected. And then you can control the text style for the title, the header, as well as the body of the schedule. So let's make the text, let's make it a little bit bigger, sorry, the title text, let's make it a little bit larger. I'll just do a quarter inch Arial bold, and then the header, I'll do a quarter inch Arial, and I'll click OK, and we can go take a look at how that looks. So once again, uh, various appearance options to control the grid lines as well as the text so that you can get your schedules to match how you've been doing it in other programs or just set up standards to match how you want them to appear. Let's do one more thing. I'm going to stripe the rows and then let's go back to the sorting grouping tab and itemize every instance. And now you can see an example where striping the rows may benefit you, something like you may want to use uh, to help make it a little more uh, reader friendly, if you will. But anyways, just to uh, wrap this up, there are several ways to adjust these to make it match 
your company standards and how you want to show schedules. Howdy! Thanks for watching. If you'd like more free content from Click to BIM, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have affordable subscription options at clicktobim.com where you can access all of our videos. We also have an amazing search feature that allows you to search through every single word in all of our videos to help you quickly find the answers to your questions.